Welcome to the mud house. And there's the other one. Hold on. What are they watching? Well, I don't know whether you can see because of the glare. But across the road, they're putting on a new roof. They've got men on the roof, which is irritating Gigi no end. <laughs> he doesn't think that anybody should be on a roof that he can see. So, anyway, I'll walk round the front and uh, you'll have to excuse the baked bean stain. I've just had my lunch. And I think I've said to you before, oh, I think that's a bit high. <laughs> Not the sofa, the camera. I think I've said to you before that I cannot find my mouth. Everything I eat seems to finish up. Down me. And I'm not wearing any beads today because uh, I actually started to sort out my bedroom yesterday. And then unexpectedly, well Zoe said she was calling me, I thought she would call about one o'clock-ish. So Zoe called about 11, she couldn't, couldn't make a video because it was a flying stop. Anyway, uh, I came downstairs, leaving all whatever on the bed. Anyway, it gets involved in doing other things, as you do. Goes to bed last night and I couldn't find the bed. It was like, oh my goodness me. So I had to just put everything on the floor so I could actually get into bed. I st it's what, f one o'clock and I still haven't gone back upstairs yet to sort it out. I really must do that. It's just... <laughs> I think I told you that when the window men were there I'd um, emptied a big unit of my woolies and things like that and just pushed them anywhere in cupboards where I could find a space. So of course every time I wanted a woolly of any description I couldn't find it. Plus the fact I couldn't get into my wardrobe very well that held the, my tops. I've got one wardrobe that holds the tops. That's the gentle side of the wardrobe and the shoes go underneath. And the other side of the wardrobe is my hanging space for dresses. I could get into that, but I couldn't in a way because I pushed all my woolies in, you know, any old owl pushed them in. <laughs> so I've got that to do. Anyway, what have I got today? Today, oh, I've got a pattern from eBay. It's um, Stylecraft. It's in their new Bartik yarn. If you want to know what the Bartik yarn or the Batik yarn looks like, if you follow Knit Nottingham, she shows, I think, um, the colours in it. I think it's Knit Nottingham. Yeah. Oh, I'll tell you who else shows it as well. Uh, Craftoon Treats, Catherine from Craftoon. Craft <laughs> she know if I had teeth, I would be able to speak. Uh, Craftoon Treats, Catherine shows the colours of um, the Bartik or the Batik or whatever you want to call it in her video. I think she's suggesting it for using in a blanket. But I don't make blankets. No. Not my thing. You love them, make them. Free choice, as we said before, with hooks, needles, whatever, yarn. Free choice. Just use what you wish and be happy. Anyway, that's got a sweater on it. I've actually got one very, very similar now I come to look. A shirt. A shirt. A shirt. A one. I promise you I haven't been drinking except coffee. There's a Serdar one very, very similar to this. But this one's got a waistcoat on it as well. So this one is 9294 and it's a stale. <laughs> I am not starting this video again. It's a style craft. Do you know, I don't think my brain's linked to my teeth today. Anyway. What else did I get? Oh, nothing. Oh, I treated myself to a well, new to me dress, you know. I don't mind. Second hand rose, I don't mind. Uh, this is again from eBay. I thought the colours were absolutely gorgeous. Although it has got straps, which is a bit annoying really, because I like to wear a bra, you know. Sometimes they show, don't they? But I'll have to see when I try it on. Love, love, love the colours. I mean, now is actually the time to buy the summer dresses, if you don't follow fashion, as I don't. Uh, because people are selling off their summer dresses, you know, quite cheaply. And oh, Gigi, don't sit on me crochet. 
I'm going to make this dog a blanket because every time I put anything down that's crocheted, he has to sit on it. And when you can see him on it, he's sat on all the crochet I want to show you. Zoe 24 Carat Crochet has started her first virus show. But she's in the middle of doing things for the craft fair. So she says on video to me, uh, I won't be finishing. Because <laughs> I've got other things to do when I'm thinking. <laughs> You've bitten the forbidden fruit. Once you start a virus show, you can't put the thing down. I mean, I love hate it. I have this relationship with it. And uh, every time I finish one, I say, I'm not going to make another one, not going to make another one. And then I sell two on Etsy and I'm thinking, hmm, obviously that's a winner, but I must make a couple more, yeah. <laughs> and my yarn came from, uh, oh, I haven't show, have I shown it to you? Oh, I'll have to show it you next time because it's in the other room. My woolless lace yarn came, it's very pretty. I can't remember if I showed it to you last time. I should make whatever some people call a cheat sheet that reminds me what I've actually said the day before or two days before. Yeah, I did try to persuade Sue to make um, a quick video, but she wasn't in the mood because she'd just come back from the dentist. But she did say she would try her best to come back on Monday, so watch this space. You know, we'll, we'll have to get a, a rocket. <laughs> No, she was a bit nervous anyway because she'd been, something had happened to her car. Not an accident or anything like that, don't worry about it, but uh, something needed doing. And so she was in a, um, you know, a courtesy car. She wasn't too keen on it, you know, driving it. It wasn't her thing. Um, we'd just been talking about this with Zoe, about choosing, every time I used to get a new car, <laughs> when I had some money. <laughs> back in the days, long remember. Um, I used to get terrible backache and hip ache every time I change cars. It's just getting used to it where the clutch bites, you know, because we have stick shift over here, gears. And um, my dad was the same. He once had to get rid of a brand new car. He tried it for about four, six months and it was just making him, he couldn't walk in the end because the, I don't know what it was, the angle or whatever. I mean he tried a test run of course, which you always do when you're buying anything like that. See I can remember that bit. And uh, he was fine with it, but when he started actually driving it, you know, long distances, oh it nearly killed him. So, you know, you have to be so careful. I'm glad I don't have that problem anymore. <laughs> My scooter fits me fine. Although I saw a fantastic video, I think I've mentioned before, about this little scooter that shunts up and it fits into like the size of a suitcase. And I was thinking that would be fantastic, you know, to take in the boot of a car. Like for example, my niece is taking me to Berry Market tomorrow. Not that I particularly want anything, but she knows I like a bit of a day out. And she usually treats me to a bit of lunch while we're out. And uh, that in itself is a day out to me, you know, I don't have to go anywhere posh. <coughs> Although Berry Market is nice, so nice place to visit provided it's not raining. But I'm hoping I don't get tempted to go, I know I will go by the wool store, I know I will. I know it, I just know it. But my stash room is so tiny as I've said to you before. And I took down all the shelving. Well, not all of it, but a lot of the shelves and took it down because um, they wanted to get to the windows. And of course, shelving holds more than bags and boxes on the floor. So I've now got bags and boxes on the floor, so it's like Mount Everest. It's like a great big mound. Plus, I don't know which bag's got what in because I put everything into bags to stop it getting, you know, dirty or soiled. Every time I finish an article that's for the shop, it has to go in a bag because I don't want it to be. You know, having said that, Gigi is actually sleeping on my bit of the crochet and not the bit underneath, which would be the one that's going on Etsy. Anyway, Gigi, I'm sorry to have to disturb you, darling, but I need what's underneath here. Go sit on the push -up. Hmm? Sit on the push -up. He doesn't like sitting on leather. He's a bit weird, don't we? Well, he's not, because I don't like sitting on leather. 
Anyway, the ice yarn that I got as a gift, well, part of it that I got as a gift, I actually, it's very, very chunky, so I actually made just like an over top, over pop for me. Just an extra layer, you know, in the winter when I've got my dresses on. I mean, my dresses are nice, but they're like uh, a stretchy material. And it's across my back and my shoulders that I feel the, the cold, so something like that is ideal. I would have liked to have done it, you know, with a split down the middle, make it into a cardigan, really. But don't ask me why, I just thought it was a good idea at the time to just carry on going with it. <laughs> I think I was thinking if I had to undo it when I ran out of yarn, you know. Anyway, I'm sure that I've got some beige sort of like what I call teddy bear yarn somewhere that um, Jackie sent to me. And that would make like a lovely sort of gilet, you know, again for the same reason, to go over my dresses in the winter. I mean, after sorting out my woolies, you know, I have got absolutely loads and loads of woolies for myself, but I must confess that quite a few of them are really past the best. I do, you know, wear them a lot and I do wash them a lot. And um, all takes its toll, doesn't it? And eventually you've got left with something that you really, really like, but it's more for wearing in the house. I mean, don't get me wrong, I've tried them yarn bobbler things and that, but they don't work too well on crochet because crochet's a bit too open. Work. I'm always frightened of cutting a stitch. So, anyway, that was it. That was the ice yarn. Oh, gosh. Can't remember what it's called, but if you look further back when I got the order, I'll tell you. And I just managed to do it. I have a little teeny ball left like that. Not enough to do edging, so I managed to rummage and found a little bit of some double knit that went around the edge and I've got a little bit of that left so you know success really I've got no hard problems I hate it when I get half balls especially something like this that you can't well you could use it for a hat but I'm doing hats for the homeless it's my thing this year although some do get sent to the women's shelter so I didn't think anybody you know <laughs> would want to wear a hat in this if they were a gentleman although there are lady homeless Anyway, here we go, pattern again, my, one of my favourites. I don't know whether you'll ever get this again. It's from the Crochet Fantasy Bridal Issue, April 1987. That's the one. But I don't put the, well you can't see it really, but there's a drawstring through there. I don't put the drawstring in. I think it was, I don't know if it was, Dean, or whether it was Theresa saying, you know, you haven't got a waistline where accentuate the fact that you haven't got one, you know. Anyway, this is it. I made it with that shoulder and style cotton I had in the garage. It was supposed to be for me. But once it was finished, it's not big enough. <laughs> you know, I want to underestimate my size. I want to think I'm this size, you know, when I'm actually not. I'm that size. Like the lilac one, you know, that size, not that size. Anyway, uh, I'm going to start another one for me. I think I'll do it in cream, because I, I don't know whether I've got any more of this orange left. I think I might have. But I like the, the end bit, how it gently flares out. You know, it's very flattering. There's nothing worse is it than a tight, tight bottom, I was going to say. <laughs> a tight edge to a sweater, as it, you know, and it goes underneath your tummy and like, cuts in, you know. It's like those guys who wear the trousers underneath the tummy and they try to fool themselves, they're like 36 inch waist, don't they? Well actually, they actually measured around their tummy, they're probably about 46 inch waist. I don't know why they have to wear them as low slung underneath the belly. And then of course the shirt flip, flip, flips out, doesn't it? Because it's not tucked in enough because the belly's in the way. You know. <laughs> Anyway, the weather's not looking too bad today. The family's gone to a wedding. Um, it's just, I think it's just in the borders of Yorkshire somewhere. They've not gone that far, but it's far enough. So they won't be back until quite late. So I'm in charge of the, the babies. They're all asleep now. Even Gigi's put up with second best a cushion, or a pillow as you call it, I think, in the US. He's put up with second best. 
So I have got nothing on my hook again at the moment. So I'm toyed with the idea of uh, making that orange sweater again. Maybe for myself in cream. Excuse me, why are you groaning? Do you know, if he hears a birdie tweeting about three streets away, he's... Nothing wrong with your hearing, is there? Because he is like a bat that come up like... <laughs> He's doing very well though, he's lost, I think he's lost about two, two kilos because he was dreadfully overweight and it wasn't doing him any good, you know, his little legs, his, you know, they were injured, his operation, they had one and it didn't work and then he had another one. So the vet had recommended that we keep, we keep his weight down, well not so much me, his parents, but then I do feed him one meal a day before he goes home. So he's been on a bit of a diet, so... Um, Sounds daft unto the little one that only weighs about seven pounds, but <laughs> he was actually supposed to weigh about seven pounds, but he was actually weighing about nine or ten, which was way too heavy for his little legs, because there's only like little spindles, his legs. So he's been a lot more lively since he's lost that little bit of weight. But he doesn't stop him from mithering when I'm having anything. He has to have a bite of whatever I've got. <coughs> But it's a bit awkward, really, because the big girls are not allowed, you know, not allowed to be ham fed. They have their meals and then that's the it, which is right, fair enough, and that's the best way for them to be. But I do feel mean when I'm sneaking in a little bit of toast, you know, and I'm not giving the girls, you know. But I know I'll be slapped severely because it encourages them to beg. So, anyway. The rest of the day I'm going to go back upstairs again, try and find <laughs> and put away some more of the stuff that's on the floor now because it got thrown off the bed because I wanted to sleep in the bed last night. So I've got a mountain of woolies, clean clothes, <coughs> there's a couple of dirty clothes but they're not underneath the pile, <coughs> things I had on yesterday. Um, but that's about it, really. I can't think of anything else to say. I've been watching people's videos, as usual, you know. There's some nice videos out there, and people who bought some gorgeous yarn. As I said, I'm not knocking anybody who buys beautiful yarn. Um, if you want it, you love it, and you can afford it, then by all means. Um, I was just watching, oh, what's she called now? She was called Kelly before on YouTube. She's called I'm... Oh God, terrible aunt. I'll put it in the link below. And she was saying I made her feel guilty because she'd just bought some expensive yarn, but like she was explaining, she'd saved up for that. You know? By all means, you up for it, buy it, do what you want with it. My only argument was some crafters, I'm not naming any names, parade it in front of us as if it's the only yarn that we can use, yeah? You know, they make you feel a bit inferior, and that's not nice. So, happy crafting, everybody, and wear, you know, use what you want if you're happy with your, your yarn that you've chosen. If it's the only yarn that you can afford, that's absolutely fine. As we've said before, the joy comes from actually making things. For me, it keeps me sane. I mean, I live on my own, so it would be very boring for me in the evenings about just sitting there watching the telly and doing nothing with my hands, you know? Couldn't do it. It'd drive me insane. You know, I'd be fidget, 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 and of course when I start to fidget, what would I do? I'd be looking for some sweets or some biscuits or something else, so at least when I'm crocheting, it keeps me out of the biscuit tea. Well, that's the theory. <laughs> As you can tell from the, you know, the skinniness of me, that it doesn't work. The only thing I will say is I am maintaining my weight. I'm not putting any on. I'm not losing any, but I'm not putting any on. I've been the same weight now for about the last 18 months, I think. Give or take a pound. And um, this must be the weight I was supposed to be. Oh, hello, the dogs have perked up now. There's a sound of a <coughs> wagon. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. No, no. 
There's the sound of a wagon coming up the street. As I tell you, they're having the roof done, so the wagon keeps bringing supplies, you know, more tiles, more things like that. And it upsets. Gigi thinks, you know, he has to let me know, which I already know, dear, thank you. We've already had one barking fest because the postman came. Oh, that's very polite of you, isn't it? Burping? Mm. That wasn't nice, was it? Where's your mummies? And now Poppy's just kicking the, <laughs> the tripod. Oh, never work with kids and animals. Yeah. This woke Sky up anyway, she's looking well now. <laughs> and I think that's all I've got to tell you. <laughs> yes, okay, we, we can hear you. We know you're there. I'll let you know what I decide to crochet next. When I decide to crochet it, I'll go and have a look round. Oh, that was Sky, by the way, having a little grumble. Better go before they both all, all decide to bark. Sky's pretty good though, actually. She doesn't usually bark unless there's somebody at the door. And uh, they all hate the doorbell, the new doorbell. And the same doorbell rings on one of the adverts on the TV. And they all go crazy. Oh, God, it's the TV, it's the TV, calm down, calm down. Gigi's the same, I dare watch any videos about dogs, you know, on YouTube or anything. And we dare watch any dog programmes, you know, I like watching the Alaskan Vet and um, uh, Dr. Jeff, you know, the Rocky Mountain Vet. And every time anything barks, tweets, meows on their way. <laughs> they all bark at me. Anyway, as I said before, I'm going to go. I'm going to look forward to going to Barry and please cross your fingers that it doesn't rain. I always say I'm going to take my camera to Bury, and then I always forget. But I mean, last time I videoed the, uh, the yarn storm in Bury, and half of it didn't come out for some reason. I don't know why. I only got part of it. The biggest bit that I was filming didn't turn out at all. So it was all kind of, you know, oh, whatever. <laughs> yeah, I could have filmed our famous black pudding stall, couldn't I? But I wasn't going over that. Yeah, we're very famous for black puddings. If you don't know what black puddings are, look them up. They're um, a delicacy. If I tell you what they're made out of, you wouldn't want to eat them. Um, but it's not a racist comment. They've been called black puddings for centuries, yeah, by the way. <laughs> but there is white pudding as well in Scotland, I believe. Oh, and now the tile put has started, so I think you can hear that. Once that starts, you can't hear yourself think. So I'm going to go now, so bye. Thank you all for watching me. Any new subscribers, thank you very much for subscribing. And um, I do appreciate everybody's comments, and I do try to reply to them all. Although there are some, like Shirley, Blue, Jones, Blues and Jan, I can't reply to. They just won't let me. And there's another lady as well. And I just don't want them to feel that they're being singled out for not being replied to, you know. I feel guilty because I can't reply. But every time I do it just says fail to fail to comment, fail to, you know, post. And I don't know why it does that with certain people, but it does. Oh, sky's gone, got a poor tangled up in my crochet shawl. Better go. Bye all. Have a happy day. <laughs>